So in this detention, we got two for you to start the year. And uh, first off, we're going to start with all the, I don't want to even call them creators, but anybody who's really just slapping their brand on original silhouettes. Some people are my like, okay, what are you talking about? We're going to have some images pop up. But people like YG just started his new brand called The Flame. And it's pretty much just like similar to just having flames on a Nike replace Nike. the Nike sign on a Nike Cortez. Yeah. And um, Warren Lotus, he's already been, he's already got sued by Nike for the dunk clothes and all the shit he's done. But the one person who, the one group that I thought was really good, but they just made some trash, was Babe. Mm -hmm. Babe just made these Jordan 1s look like shadows. They're terrible. They're straight terrible. No. And I think what the thing is, is that some people executed well. So Babe has executed well with Babesters, the Air, like the Air Force looking ones. Yep. They, they, and the reason why they work is because they put their creativity mm -hmm. of like putting like different colorways, putting sponsors and putting like superheroes, do things like that. But, um, and even like, I like Ian Connor's uh, Revenge Storms, mm -hmm. which is like the, putting the storm, thunderstorm on the bands. But it's just when you're literally taking not just a silhouette, you're taking a, a literal colorway and you're not doing anything but just putting it in, like, that's just a lack of creativity and I just feel like I, I couldn't rock with that. It's like if you put their shoes on turnitin.com, remember turnitin.com? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of turnitin.com? Turnitin.com? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is turning that guy? You serious? No. Y'all joking, right? No. Oh my god. Turnitin.com was a like <laughs> we had to turn in. I'm like, I'm in shock that y'all don't know this, bro. I don't know what this is. Go ahead. Turnitin.com is um like if you like if you were like on a paper for school, <laughs> you had to um turn it in. You had to submit it on there. Before you can turn it into the Oh, screen. yeah, okay, so I understand. Like, it's like it's a plagiarism. Like, it's a plagiarism. Like, okay, so wow. yeah, I've been Y'all really didn't know. I've had used it ever since probably sixth grade to like senior year. I forgot what the website it was we used at, at Ball State, but there was another website. There was literally a plagiarism website. And if you submitted your assignment and it was like more than like 10% yeah. of like another person's paper or something, you got, you failed for plagiarism. Okay, I forgot. And so I'm saying, if you if you put those shoes on plagiarism.com or on turning.com, okay. you probably get like a 90, 95%. So now we can laugh because we get return. It's not even <laughs> fun anymore. It's okay. I feel like I, uh, I feel like I'm on detention now. No, that's cool. Oh, but no, I actually but I didn't we know the concept of turning.com with all the things that I yeah, saw the official like, turning.com. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like it really is. And it's like I think the reason why Babe didn't get sued, like Warren Lois, is because again the creativity and execution. Yep. Same way why he can kind of make a suit probably by Vans. Is YG being sued right now? No, I don't think he will be. He's not going to make any money. I don't think he's going to get any. It's not going to be crazy. But Warren Lotus, like he, they said he's been making money. But it's because he's doing like some of the most coveted dunks, like the Heineken dunks, which I like, you're familiar with, it goes super hard. The Pigeon dunks. So these are like some of the, you know, dunks are coming out crazy. Like the old, like not the OG, because they weren't OG, but like some of the most heralded grill dunks is getting redone. And it's just like Nike ain't getting up for it. Yeah. But Ian is making, I mean, Warren Lewis is making crazy money. So I just feel like they gotta go to tension and they gotta go to art class and they need to work on being more creative. Yeah. Like, this is just not cool, not 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 yeah. my not my forte. Exactly. No, for sure. Yeah. And so a little bit more lighthearted, I'll say. Right. Um for those of y'all that don't follow don't follow college football at all, um this is the season where it's, you know, this is the time of year, all the bowl games, right? All the bowl games. And so Wisconsin won the Dukes, uh, Dukes Mayo Bowl this year, right? Which is great. You're like, why are we in detention? Well, as I was gonna show you <laughs> with the clip, they broke, and I mean like they shattered their their bowl trophy. Um, and I'm just like, when you look at the video, like they're celebrating, they're having fun, they're dancing, and it just slips out of one of the players' hands. I'm like, man, you, yeah. Yeah, you were asking for this. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. How you gonna drop and shatter the trophy right after you won the game? You still in the locker room. So you still have the jersey on. For what? I, what I think? I think that it looked like the the thing was not very well 
Secured. Secured on there. Like, yeah. I feel like he wasn't upside down. It was just like, so the was slipped off. But I think the funniest part about it was just like, everybody was dancing. And I, I swear it was music. <laughs> but it seemed like as soon as it broke, there was no music. And all the feet just slid each other. And then everybody, I don't know who you worry about. I don't even worry about the school president, the AD, or the coach. But like, you just like, you probably gotta go up the chain. Like, okay, where's coach gonna give me the gag? And I don't know who that player was, but I just know. And then, bro, I think they, I don't know if it was, I don't know if someone just made it a meme or if they really did this, but it was a picture. And it looked like someone had taped a bottle of Duke's mayonnaise where the ball used to be. Uh, so it was a trophy, and on top of it was a, yeah, a bottle true. of Duke's mayonnaise. Which, I mean, what else are you going to do after you just broke the trophy? You might as well make a lot of it. Right. You're still the champions of the bowl. Yeah, and I so, bet they probably will get a new one, but I think, like, even though it's scared that moment, they're gonna rewrite it to be cool and then they're gonna have fun with it later. You know, on. 10, 20 years down the line, they'll be able to look yeah. back and like, man, y'all remember when we won the bowl game and so and so shit yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the trophy? Yeah, so I yeah. mean, at least they ain't fun with the ball, you know, when they really need it to. So, you know. Facts. Big facts, big facts. So, congrats to Wisconsin, but we know who the best Big Ten team is. Yeah. Y'all ever seen anything crazy? Um, or y'all see someone who y'all feel like is deserving of attention? <laughs> Let us know. Maybe one day they'll be on detention. Cause y'all know who we were signaling for. Just uh yeah, let us know if you ever see something detention worthy. Uh if y'all ever do anything detention worthy, you're brave enough, let us know. And you find yourself on this sweet stage and might get one of these own hats. You know, but yes, sir. yeah, yeah, that's all we got. So thanks y'all for tuning in. What's up, class? Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tune in with us next week for another episode of Home Room. And if you haven't seen any of our previous videos, make sure you check the link down below so you can catch up and stay updated with Home Room. See you.